Hello, and welcome to Season 2 of Dentistry Support, the podcast, with your host, the kind-hearted and infectious Sarah Beth Herman. We're back for a new season and ready to pack a punch. In every episode, we'll be sharing you quick, impactful insights into the challenges our dental community and leaders in all industries face. Expect a little bit of flair, a few laughs, and you might even recognize a friend or two. Because of you, we are the number one podcast in dentistry and number one in management and business. And we couldn't be more excited to keep bringing you practical wisdom and leadership with a servant's heart. All delivered in just enough time for your commute or morning team huddle. We're glad you're here. So let's get into it. Please welcome your host, Sarah Beth. Welcome to Dentistry Support the Podcast. I'm Sarah Beth Herman and your host for this episode on season two, episode number 19. It always amazes me when we get here, but I am traveling this week. It has been an awesome summer, and I thought I was going to upload a podcast episode that was recorded with me and another co-host. I have it recorded. I have it edited. It's ready to launch and go live for Monday morning, but then pause. But then I changed my mind. I decided what I'm going to do is actually record something with just me. I'm your host, Sarah Beth Herman. Welcome back to season two, episode number 19. I felt a strong pull to record a solo episode for this week and push back my next co-hosted episode to next week. <laughs> I happened to be out of town this week, so I did pre-record an episode with somebody else, which was really amazing, and I honestly can't wait for you guys to hear it. But this week, I just felt like I really needed to connect with you and share about some things that I've been thinking about, things that have resonated with me this week, because I have a few crazy projects in the works. And while those projects are crazy, I have also experienced some really wild setbacks in other areas of my business. First, I do want to let you know that this episode will have elements of my faith in it, along with Bible verses, quotes from other areas of expertise I found fascinating, and I think you should know what you're getting into. If it bothers you that I incorporate faith into this podcast, this may not be the space for you this week. And that is perfectly okay. I just want you to be aware. So let's just get right into it. And if you're watching the video of this episode, it is starting to rain all of a sudden where I'm at. So I'm going to make this pretty snappy. I read a devotional this week titled The Fellowship of the Uncomfortable. And it got me thinking about how we approach our plans and goals, both personally and professionally. The devotional ended with this verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, that says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. The verse challenged me to move beyond my own comfort zones and to trust in something greater than myself. Let's be real for a minute. It's easy to make plans that we know we can accomplish. But where is the faith in that? The devotional asked me, do you and your team only plan what you think can be accomplished? I hope not. We need to have enough ambition that we need the Holy Spirit to be present and working to succeed in our plans. If we are comfortable that our team has all that is needed to accomplish our plans, we are going to miss the joy that comes from living by faith. We are driven to prayer when we can't accomplish a plan without the moving of the Lord. This idea of pushing beyond what's comfortable reminded me of a powerful quote that Brandon Collinsworth said. He said, when you sit at tables with people who have dedicated their lives to their craft, the conversation just hits different. When you build with people who have devoted themselves to being the best versions of themselves, things just build different. When you create with people who have committed their lives to mastering themselves, things just feel different. When you share space with those who live with passion and purpose, the energy just resonates 
different. That's why you've got to put yourself in the right rooms around the right people because it just is different. Think about for a moment everything you just heard. When you surround yourself with people who are dedicated, passionate, and committed to excellence, it changes everything. The energy, the conversations, the results, everything just feels different. This ties back perfectly to the idea of making ambitious plans that require faith. When you put yourself in the right rooms around the right people, you're not just pushing yourself to achieve more. You're also creating an environment where faith and ambition thrive. In business, it's crucial to not just stick with what's comfortable. We need to make plans that stretch us, that make us rely on each other and on our faith. This is where true growth happens. I have always been known as someone positive, totally ambitious. And I think, no, no, no. I'm certain that some people think that means I never worry or that certain things that go wrong don't matter as much to me because I am already ready to move on. For me, I just know that I can't stay in the loss. I don't have the capacity to both stay in the loss and move forward to what the future can hold for me. I remember when I started dentistry support, I really knew that starting the company was beyond my own capacity. I was nervous, and I was scared, and I was very, very unsure I could pull it off. But I chose to surround myself with a team that believed in the vision, and I was committed to making it happen. And together, we prayed, we planned, we worked tirelessly. And we achieved something incredible, something that wouldn't have been possible if we had just stuck to what we know we could comfortably do. Then we kept duplicating those efforts. Now, have I lost along the way? Yes, of course. Have I made mistakes? Yes, of course. But I am consciously choosing to move forward in anticipation, not desperation, and certainly not with a limited focus and limited goals. My team knows I am positive. They know I have a million ideas and thoughts. They know I am driven. I don't have people who aren't driven on my team. We are all in the same marathon, passing the baton to the next person, refueling and continuing forward despite what lies ahead. We know that the path of the person we are handing the baton to is likely unknown to us because certain people belong in certain routes. But it is going to take additional people willing to run and keep going while we all build simultaneously. So to all the leaders and entrepreneurs listening, I'm going to challenge you. Are you only making plans that you know you can accomplish? Or are you stepping out in faith, making those bold, audacious plans that require you to lean on something greater? Remember, people choose to buy from you when they feel understood not because they understand you. When you build genuine connections based on empathy and understanding, you create a bond that goes beyond the transactions. And in turn, this takes you to places beyond your own capacity. When I first started dentistry support, I really didn't know what I was doing. I knew that it wasn't within my own abilities to make it amazing. I can tell you that the same energy I used The day I started it is the same energy I use now. Even though I have an established business, I'm still always trying to build business. It's always starting over. It's always building it from the ground up because where I'm at now is just the foundation. I have to continue to build that up and continue to grow it as much as absolute possible. As we wrap up this episode, I want to take a minute to reflect. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Surround yourself with people who push you to be better, who inspire you to reach higher. When you walk by faith, not by sight, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities that you may never have imagined. I know that sounds really cliche, and I know that sounds like, wow, you just are talking in thin air. It really is real. I really have experienced it. I really am living that out right now. That brings us to our TGM. We always have a TGM, right? Or that's a good moment for the day. Stretch yourself. Rely on your faith. 
Surround yourself with those who inspire and challenge you. That's where true growth and joy are found. That's where true growth and joy are found. And that is a good moment to hold on to. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Dentistry Support, the podcast. I'm your host, Sarah Beth Herman, and I've got a lot of fun people that are on the next few episodes, series that you don't want to miss and things you're definitely going to take away with you. When you come to this podcast, what I want you to know is I'm an entrepreneur with a lot of ideas, a lot of fun things I want to talk about, a lot of amazing people I've met along my way. And I want those people who have poured into me to pour into you. I want you to have access to all of that. So yes, this is a podcast that says dentistry in the title, but it's a podcast where anybody can come, learn, grow, be part of the team. Until next time, keep pushing those boundaries, living by faith and anticipation, not desperation of what is to come because you are excellent. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Dentistry Support, the podcast. If you want to get in on the conversation or have something to share, join us on our Facebook group, The Dental Collaborative. Looking to connect or to be a guest? Head over to DentistrySupport.com. Or if you'd like to learn more about your host, Sarah Beth, or maybe you're thinking of starting your own podcast or looking for mentorship opportunities, well, just visit SarahBethHerman.com. If you've got just a sec, remember to rate, subscribe, and leave a review for the podcast. That helps us keep growing. Thanks for supporting the show, and we hope you'll join us again in the next episode of Dentistry Support, the podcast.